Hello and welcome to Forest Thrills. In today's video, we're in South Queensferry and this is the Dakota Hotel. We've just stayed here for two nights, so stay tuned. We're going to give you the filter and at the end, we'll give you our full thoughts. So, let's go. And as usual guys, I'll start off at the door. We have some fire safety information right there. On the door, we have a rather large peephole. Your locking system there. I'm relaxing and make me up for the room. In with the key card as per usual, and you have power. And there is the bathroom, I'll get to that just shortly. However, right here, this is the aircon. I'll pan you around though and show you inside the room. I absolutely love the decor here. Really giving me New York vibes. Let me know what you guys think. But I'll start off with the main feature of the room, which is the double bed. And it is extremely comfy. This is our second night here. So our room has just recently been made up. Hence why it looks so neat. Except for the monster can there. That is mine. <laughs> we have the phone here. Extra little touch there. It does have my name. I've got these nice lamps. To the side here. There's a load of our junk, but there's a little storage space for luggage. A mirror on the wall. And just hidden behind the bed itself. There's a wardrobe space. Plenty of coat hangers above and below on the wall here we do have this lovely flat screen tv and i'd like to point out it's not just freeview on these tvs here at dakota it's sky tv so that's a really nice touch didn't expect that when i turned it on sky cinema there's loads of new films on there you probably all know what the sky is <laughs> if not Look it up. On the wall, we have this art piece. Got a lovely armchair in the corner, which is extremely comfy. Over in the corner here, this nice lamp. Quite extra, if I do say so. Rather large, but I do love it. The juice is ours. There's a little dressing table sort of area here. Got a mirror. Nice little chair at the desk. There's a bin below, and here is where the goodies are. If you watch our videos, you know what I'm talking about. The teas, the coffees, hot chocolate, and these are lovely. I had these last night, and Tash, she had these. Delicious. I've got a kettle there, a couple glasses, a couple mugs, and some teaspoons. Lovely. Right here. This is a little card, you can let them know about your stay. Definitely be doing that. And here is a room service menu. I'll briefly scan over it. Feel free to pause it if you need any of the information. And there's nothing on the back. Just to the other side of the bed as well though, there is some complimentary still water, two bottles, very nice. Some USB slots there. Ports, should I say. There's the Sky Remote, I wasn't lying. And just in here, there's another wardrobe. Storage space above. We have an iron, ironing board, Tasha's clothes. And in here is where the hair dryer's kept. It's a very modern room. Don't know if you noticed as well, actually. We do have a fan here. We did have to request this because the air con up there, it's really warm in Scotland right now. We've just had a week of pure heat. It's about 26 degrees, 27 today. The air con just really wasn't cutting it. So we did request the fan and they were happy to provide that. I've turned it off for the sake of filming because it is quite loud, but yeah. 
the aircon, not great. The decor in here, pan you around and just show you that wall. Definitely getting New York vibes. Let us know what you think though. And next I'll take you into the bathroom. Stay tuned. And just to the left of the entrance, we have the bathroom. I'll start over here at the sink area. There's plenty of space. In the corner here, we've got a little bar of soap and a free shower cap. Just above that, there's more for food, more free toiletries. The White Company, body lotion, conditioner and shampoo. Very nice. There's a shelf just above for storage and there is a big mirror on the wall. Down below, we've got a little rail here with a hand towel and the bin is just below that. On the wall as well, there is a port or ports, should I say, for electric shavers. To the side, we have the toilet itself, plenty of toilet roll, and right here we also have more towels. There and there on this lovely heater. There's also a full length mirror. Very nice feature. And in the corner, we have the shower itself. Rainfall head up above, and there's a handheld just on the wall there. Controls are inside, and some extra storage there. I really like the tiles in here. They just go with the whole vibe of the room itself. It's spacious, it's modern, and it's clean. Brilliant bathroom. Okay, so hold that thought when I said the bathroom was clean, because I think the housekeeping missed this. I haven't a clue what that is, and I don't really want to know. It's kind of red-brown colour, and there's a bit of a stain there. Really unsure about that. And I did also notice this. Or Tash noticed this one, actually. Behind the door, camera's not picking it up great, but that is cobwebs up there. So it seems like Incy Wincy the spider has climbed up the water spout again. If you know, you know. So another thing we've noticed in this room is the dust. It's probably another fault of the housekeeping, but I'll just show you right now. I'll run my finger along this. That is the dust. Pretty filthy. So you've seen the room tour. Let us know down in the comments, what did you think? We've really enjoyed the stay here that we've had. The staff have been friendly. The decor especially, the decor in the hotel is right up our alleyway. Don't know about you guys, but this just suits our vibe down to a T. However, as I mentioned earlier when I was showing you the room, the heat, the heat in this hotel has been unbearable. It has been really warm in Scotland, especially the past few days. It's been up 26, 27 degrees Celsius. And we had to request a fan because the air con up there, it's really, it just wasn't cutting it, as I said. But good thing we asked for the fan because it made a big difference. We cranked the windows, didn't do much, so the fan was a lifesaver. The staff here have been super friendly. Any query we've had, they've been great. The main problem though has been the cleanliness. Cleanliness has got to be the main thing in the room. You come here, you want to feel comfortable on your stay. You want to feel like it's been cleaned. The housekeeping, I feel like for a four star establishment, especially, especially <laughs> for a four star hotel, the cleanliness in here is not amazing. As I've showed you, the dust, the toilet, we also had to request for extra toiletries. We'd booked for two nights. The two nights cost us £342. Now for an Edinburgh hotel, that's quite reasonable for this time of year. It's the start of September. We're coming to the start of autumn. It's still sort of lingering on those summer hotel prices. £342 was good value for money for a four star hotel. However, having to chase extra toiletries not good either. So the question I like to ask is, 
Was it rubbish or was it worth it? And this is one of those where I'm going to say I'm in the middle again. This time I want you guys to decide. Let us know, do you think this hotel was worth £342 for the two nights? I can't make my mind up. The heat especially just... It wasn't for us. We don't like hot as it is. So I'm going to let you guys decide. Let us know in the comments. Would you stay here based on that price point? If you've watched this far and you've not gave us a thumbs up, don't know what you're doing, but please do. Maybe you're just bored. Drop a thumbs up though. It really helps our videos spread. And if you like what you're watching, click down below and click the subscribe button. Ring the little bell and you'll get notifications when we post more videos. We've been Forest Thrills though and we'll see you next time.